Oh, hello. Hello there. I'm Button. <laughs> and I'm Bly, and you are watching Button and Bly's Travel Show. It's true. That's what you're watching. Okay, let's be real. I heard that Benidorm, Spain was a place where old British people go to have all-inclusive vacations in these weird high-rise apartments that you see. That's what I heard, and honestly, because of that, I had pretty low expectations. Benidorm itself is interesting because it is definitely a tourist destination. There's no getting around that. There is a lot more to Benidorm than I think most Europeans give it credit for. You go five minutes outside of the city in any direction, and you are in gorgeous, beautiful nature with wineries or mountains or uh, cute old villages or houses, etc. Like it's it's really cool. In Benidorm, in Benidorm, love many friends. In Benidorm. So what did we do in Benidorm? It's a great fucking question. We started out our trip by going to get some tapas. Octopus in here. <laughs> Here's the thing about Spain. You get like the most courses with your meals. <laughs> so by the time your eat meal comes, you're like ready to explode on wine appetizers. So make sure you really stretch your stomachs out before you eat in Spain. There's definitely a gastronomic side of Benidorm that I don't think is widely known about. In Old Town, yeah, there's tons of tapas places that are really, really, really nice. And they have to be good because there's so many of them. We also then went to go check out Aqualandia! 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 That one. So fun fact about me, I burn easily, I get motion sickness so I can't do rides, I also cannot swim. Not my typical day of fun here. It's buckets of fun over here. One thing that I would say about Aqualandia that I thought was really cool is that it's all salt water. Um, so there's no chlorine, there's no chemicals, and it was really cool like that. We got to go over to this place, Aqua Sports Benidorm. They offer multiple things, but we got to check out the little private boat tour. So it's cool, you don't have to have a boating license, you can just rent a boat for a few hours during the day. Ahoy, matey! We got to go on a Jeep excursion, Marco Polo Excursiones. Oh, well, your Spanish is coming along quickly.
We also got to check out a winery. When do you not like checking out wineries and places? Never or never. Oh, Mendoza Winery, very pretty. Some great wines. We took a bunch home. I bought five bottles. You can never be stocked up on your Spanish wines. About to get the wino on. Someone's excited. This is Lisa's dream day. Oh god, cat face. So they have this like cooling stick that they jam in there and cool it down. But here at this winery they call it uh, the wine dildo. All in all, Benny Darm, you were a little underrated, I would say, in my mind. Very underrated and a big surprise. Yeah, we kind of were coming here as like, oh, maybe it'll be interesting, who knows? And then we heard a little bit of things like, ah, oh, it's very touristy and very English and a little bit older. Yes, that is here. I will not lie to you guys, it is here, but Go a little bit outside of that, Ex explore the old town, explore the mountains and the wineries and the theme parks, and it's absolutely a fun time here. And I would just encourage you to not give Benidorm a bad rap before you try it, experience it, and see everything that, that it has to offer. We would also like to thank Visit Benidorm for showing us all these amazing places and making it much less of a tourist destination for us. Also. I don't know if you hear that. It's time to party, I think. It's a Sunday night, Benny Dorm, and I think we might need to leave you our last destination on our season five trip. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my god, this is our last this is our last thing for season five. This is our last stop, you guys. Who knows where we'll be next? I hope you can join along. And I hope we will take you somewhere new and fascinating along the way. But the party is starting down in Benny Dorm on a Sunday evening. We're about to go get some falafel and some kebab and maybe go tear it up with the English folk. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave us some comments and maybe let us know where you'd want to see us go next because we're unsure of that still. See you later Spain! We decided let's get some one-way tickets to Europe and see what happens. In November.